Sanjankaya. Throw out the hairball, rooted. Now, Ame, he's still very strong, but when they move in with numbers, they do manage to take him down. And just like that, Falcons up on the high ground, trying to clean up Rax. Yeah, once he's isolated like that, I mean, we know they have the damage. I mean, they just got to stun him, get to the front side, and you just see him explode like that. And so they've kind of weathered that little bit of a storm here. Crit now has that Agnum Scepter complete. We can see if it'll have an impact here. As he gets Snake gone dude. on. And just is going to get Black Hole by Snake King. Not enough damage to kill, but they make sure that Kurt walks away, although he does finally fall, and now maybe out too far, they're going to be able to run down this Wind Ranger. Turns for the Focus Fire, oh, not going to awesome. happen. Lift up onto one. So Yule's retreat for the Timber, and with the Blink after, make sure that he's able to... Well, they wow. tried to chase him down with the Marcy, but can't get him. Steps forward, XM. Pops it, ZingQ, Dispose, Connection, everybody else right on to him, oh, oh, look at ZingQ, look at him go, he's tearing him to shreds, triple kill for ZingQ, this guy's a monster, get the hell out of there Falcons, you are not meant to be. That Viper Strike connected on Skeeter, that was the go sign. Oh wow, I mean he's looking for more, he's not done with him. Get over oh, here. The nullifier? The nullifier. Okay. Might have been <laughs> okay, off where you get right. you. All right. Okay. <laughs> all right. Triple kill was cool. <laughs> that was pretty sick. And then he ends up losing the gem, but they'll get it back afterwards. XSS just looking on. Like, wow. <laughs> Ame going to get kicked. Maybe. Possibly. Nope. He's going to Wind Waker himself. Now running. Viana's. Well, no. He's focus fired. Still more damage on to Ame. Oh, another Walrus Punch, throwing out a lot of Quills, and they find the back lines yet again. He can't get off the black hole. They're going to take down Skinner Zing-Q, the true carry in this. Because now they beat the crap out of Amar, and four dead. They never go on the Bristle. I don't know. I don't think, like, there's no buyback on Amar. This, they might just keep going. I mean, bottom done. I, they can probably fight for Megas here. I don't see why not. The only downside is they don't have split, I guess. But they have ZQ, so it's fine. Right? No. Make the moves. XM hits hard. Keep going for more, why don't you? They've got AC done. They're going to try and go for the Tier 4 towers. Pop the Bruce split. Start to oh, pulverize his Tier 4s. And yeah, in for the Ancient. They don't have a Glyph. GG is called. An explosion of damage and extreme they knew. Just get the Midas's. It'll be fine. Just kind of waiting and waiting, waiting, and yeah, we're going to win now. The Daedalus right before this fight. They're going to look for the flank around. I mean, a few of these heroes are burstable if they get the jump, and indeed from this angle, it could GPK be GPK has to be so careful. He's onto the call. They find GPK. He's caught. The the he's caught. He's caught. He's the He's caught. 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 He's Falcons, though, they've lost two. Nightfall, he's getting low on the mana, but he will have that Aegis. 30 seconds on it. Let's see what they want to do to deal with this. The control for a save comes out. They managed to root snaking. Oh, my God. Oh my God. They're going to be able to do it again, maybe. I mean, he's, got, he's put completely on his own. Nightfall, Mirror's going to get caught with a Pulver. Can he get out? He's going to be able to TP. So the Nightfall, oh. he'll get out of there. But my goodness, Falcons, they're, they're managing to make it work. And Amar, he's, he's ready to easy. the old chap. Amar, he's been... Jungling, going Midas and everything, he's just dropping the I mean, easies. Oh he my was god. Cooking. He was cooking and he's ready to go now. Easy has dropped and that's that. Radiance will show himself first on the tower, Skeeter. And it's gonna mean he gets caught by a hook shot. They're trying to jump the back line at the same time, but Nightfall charges forward here with the stone gaze. They'll look towards the Mars. Mars under the cover of the Moonlight Shadow and the BKB. Stampede's popped as Bet Boom. They're kind of getting split up because Save on the back lines gets jumped by Malarine. Skeeter sees his target. Now, and Skeeter, he'll go for the easy ones first. He'll look for Toronto Tokyo, takes out the clock one. Still though, Nightfall doing a lot. The disarm comes to an end. He puts the BKB. They're on Nightfall. He's trapped. Skeeter's able to kill him off. And Nightfall is out of He's in trouble. For the DP out. Nightfall will Holy. Still make it away. Only just. But again, it's another fight where Falcons, they get four other kills as they kill off Toronto Tokyo twice. And they get saved. And they get Miro. Whatever position they're forced into. Yeah, they know how to recover. They know how to get out of the tough spots. I mean, this was what? A 20 minute Midas that was picked up from Amar. So it really is just yeah, he, really he, understanding what he, to do when you're behind. And just this approach here yeah, in, in terms of Amar, you know, Pet Boom, they tried to shut him down. Heavy focus in the early games both times. It just doesn't matter. Skitter. It's a good hoost on. It's one of the three of them, but the follow-up, it is not there. Yeah, they're just he not just again. disappears, Miro. Skeeter goes over towards him. A few swipes at the sword and he's gone.
Over to mid. They're just so good at bailing each other out Nightfall. as well. The arrow connect. I mean, Nightfall's trying to get in on this, but he's immediately caught by the stun. And then disarmed. And just doing nothing to Maori. Absolutely nothing. Look at the armor on him. They just he's all buffed up. He's just hitting the barracks here. They can't push him away. And Amar, he's got Doom again in They're three seconds. They're trying to get him for the sniper. is in with a jump over the wall. Save, save. He's going to get taken out. He has got buyback. And still without Mira for 45 seconds. I mean, Marion and Amar, they just straight into the base. Nightfall, put the stone gaze. He's not doing anything They just ignore him. They just keep hitting the barracks. They look for the objective now. Skeeter's ready to jump in. Holds him with the stun. BKB for Nightfall's forced out. The Raxes are dying. This is Megas. And they're going to get it. They're gonna get it here, Beck Boom, they cannot stop Falcons from taking the Mega Creeps, and I don't know if they can stop Falcons from taking the game! I mean, Maureen's just, he's the one hitting the towers. Popping his uproar, hitting for 500. 15 seconds until they've got the full lineup back up. I mean, he's just telling them to come at him. I mean, and they're in on to save, save. We'll get forced back to safety, he's back in the fountain. But the first tier four's gone. I'm outreach taking, he's just buffed up completely, the Solar I mean, Crest and everything. Beyond rage boss status here. <laughs> he literally what, is what taking no damage. This? He's just hitting the base. High fives. I think his hands are off the keyboard, he's just taking click down the mid lane. They can't kill him, they can't stop him. Save, trying for an angle, Doom comes out on Miro. And now they're ready to get more kills, they'll look straight away over to the center, they delete save. Another Doom. No escape here for Miro, <laughs> it's over, DG is called, Falcons will take game two. Oh my, and how do you recover now I mean, for Bebboom? I, I do not know, this has got to, it's got to feel really rough for Bebboom. You know, game one, that was a tough game, this game two, it's going to hurt even more for Oh, I mean, he takes a sip of his drink. He's like, oh yeah, another day, at, another day at work. That rapier and Dita status is still pretty damn good. As we have a oh, a lot of TP. Oh, Nisha, Nisha. Nisha. gonna get Nisha. spotted. Nisha. Gonna get spotted here as Mickey jumps in, getting the bash off oh. the Chronosphere onto the more playing Makoto onto the back line. He goes as Nisha's working up. Though. He gets off his rolling thunder. Twenty three Savage getting controlled. I think that was the 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 Wind Waker yeah. used on him. As Boxy now attempting to run away, but they by lost Makoto. Does have tons of remnants back, like you said, his nullifier applied to 23 oh. Savage. There goes the puppy, instantly gets hacked into the swashbuckle. Nisha trying to get some damage applied to him, finally BKB comes out, and the Void... Oh my god! Dead. So many remnants to work with for Makoto! Zai? Buybacks galore for Liquid. Zai takes a tumble, has the buyback still intact. This is all about trading buybacks, and that's a scary thing when you're going against an Ember, especially with this shard. You have so many remnants to work with. They only used one buyback. That was a one for two trade, and Zai is still dead. Okay. Wonder if they can force this buyback somehow. Mika does buy out the refresher, but they're not even close to killing 23 in a chrono. Because with the shard, he can just he can just morph up. He has 658 armor on this morphling. Yeah, but Nisha can swashbuckle every three seconds, it feels like. Yeah. Continuing to get bashes every time. Gaben is smiling upon him right now. Range Rax is dead. Of course, just losing one Rax is not that big of a deal. His initiation from Q is completely stopped and extracted. Oh. Decay, jumping in as well. Got Chrono, the Chrono here. On to three. They're going to be able to kill the Titan with the E on this proc. On to fire. Darkseer. Jabs. Trying to get some help from 23 Savage. Finally turns it into the Void. Trying to take out Insane, but another Holy proc. shit, 23. Mika taking so much hit. The post promise is right there. Right outside the panel. He should be able to live as a result. And 23 Savage, Nisha getting his second ult off, it looks like. Swashbuck on the other side of the wall as he's pursued and he's blocked oh, he's by 23 Savage. A huge slight and Nisha dead for two full minutes. But into the ball, oh, 23 Savage goes. He's controlled for the time being, but he used the time again. A lot of damage back. His boxy still going to live some way, somehow. And 23 Savage time walks back to the tier three. The nice pops back. Zai. He brought back into the fray as Makoto pops his BKB. 23 Savage, he doesn't care. Surely, the, you can see their base is actually down on the other side as well, but it's just to creep. Zai's most of the focus here from the side of Talon on these buildings. And you can see... Zai is really pushing. Right on the other side, how close is he? If the Ancient is fully exposed! Can they outpush oh, the they Brood? Oh, the TP! Brood yeah, the TP! TP. The cancels of the TPs! Can they kill oh the Ancient? Oh my god! No way! Talon, you better be careful because Zai is coming for your base! He just won Liquid game number three, and they stay in the upper bracket. Holy shit.